Hi guys, welcome back to Turbo War 2's Seeking Performance Series Episode 1. In this series we're going to be trying to increase the performance on the Mazda 3 and the BMW 1 Series with the help of Neil from BBR GTI. What do you think will happen between the two cars, honestly? Honestly, the BMW, I will be very surprised if we see a big power increase. Hope to see a little bit of an increase from the mapping on the ECU, mm -hmm. uh, but exhaust system going from the cat back without play, replacing the manifolds, I'll be surprised if there's a big increase. Um, the Mazda 3, typically it's a two litre engine, the same as what the MX-5 that we tune daily. Um, so we hope to see eight to 12 horsepower from the software and a slight increase from the exhaust system. Happy with that, sounds good. series and, and we've, we've got, got a, a table, table. <laughs> that was harmless wasn't it <laughs> anyway yeah so we've done well we've managed to in three years of doing youtube videos get a table it's a big milestone mm. getting a table it's a big thing for a channel and you know it's a good thing when you've got a table no. is i can give you a present funny you should say that new year new present Oh, it's like I didn't know it was coming. Oh, and so it's almost as if it was planned. This is getting good. Anyway, um, bear with us just while we do this. Can you guess what it is? No. I, I have no idea. I don't know how I'm going to get into it either. At least I actually left you a little bit. I thought I'll leave you a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I left him literally nothing. It was all tape. I genuinely, I'm still having trouble. <laughs> I've got a bike for <laughs> Um, How fragile is this? <laughs> no, not at all. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> I've just peeked the microphones. <laughs> I've got a 12 in 1 multi tool pen. Cheers, James. That's brilliant. I need to wait to get some scissors. <laughs> it's actually so bad. Yes, see? <laughs> Genuinely. Um, I didn't really think this through. I'm quite impressed. I managed to actually... See? That's what you get for wrapping it like a sissy. <laughs> I didn't wrap it like a sissy. I wrapped it like a man. But I'm absolutely just without cable ties. It's a multi-point oven. Well, oh, you know what's going to come in handy? The fact that it actually comes with a cutting blade, which would have been brilliant for just then. <laughs> I've <I'll> completely <laughs> murdered the package. <laughs> but it's got in there, it's a cross head, it's got a flat head, tweezers, cutting blades. Um, it's actually Sweet. a ballpoint pen. Sweet. This is actually going to be useful. Yeah, <laughs> but... <laughs> cool, right. Let's all get back to being serious. <laughs> We're going to forget that. <laughs> Literally, I did that in the shop with my family. It was hilarious. Anyway, so, new series, new year, new table, new location to film. That's right, we've actually got a location. Hi, Neil. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're basically going to be using BBR GTI to be able to um, film pretty much the entirety of this series, um, along yeah. with the assistance of um, Tourist and Aerodrome, which is a, a local place to, to here. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got quite a few different episodes uh, planned. Um, I mean, what, what you've got for your car, what is it? You've got 
We've got an exhaust being fitted. Exhaust. And off the shelf. This is the interesting thing about this series is we're doing two exhaust installs when we've perfectly done it like this. James has gone with a custom exhaust mm -hmm. and I've gone off the shelf exhaust um, just so we can show hopefully the differences between how yeah. things were done. You'd like to hope that with um, a custom exhaust, the fact that they're custom doing it around all the, everything in your car, <laughs> that they're going to be able to do everything exactly right. Custom exhaust, um, mainly, what well, the main difference is that is just to see whether someone fitting it, um, kind of for the first time one-off job, is any better really than a stock. Um, I say stock, a more r and d thought out process. Yeah, so we've got two different companies being used. We've got Jetex for the off the shelf on the Mazda, mm -hmm. and then we've got Cobra Sport doing a uh, complete custom job um, from the catalytic converter back. Um, we've also got um, a induction system tweak. Um, I've yep. got an M Performance kit. Uh, it's a shame that we couldn't use uh, Auto Enhance. We've got no issues with Auto Enhance at all. Uh, we've been talking to them for months and they were let down by their supplier for a Samota kit, which is a shame, mm -hmm. as that was the kit I really did want, and they wanted to supply and be a part of this, but um, they had their own issues mm -hmm. with their supply. Mm -hmm. um, remaps on both cars. Very different outcomes. Two very, very different receptions to remaps. Um, mm -hmm. my, my car had a bit of a... Spat. Yeah. Um, Throw his toys out of the pan. Bloody BMW. Um, um, the, well, well. the other thing we've got is um, a brake upright yes. um, on my car. We've got um, complete um, upgraded discs and then uh, yellow stuff pads. Mm -hmm. We're doing a stop test between stock and then the upgraded system to see um, just how much better having performance brakes is compared mm -hmm. to stock. Um, but yeah. Pause you. So I'm not carrying on anymore until I can prove. It's still recording. Oh, you know the trucker still is, but I'm going to Ah! Right. <laughs> I'm not taking any risks <laughs> with this. We've have been having recording issues, ladies and gentlemen, not you can hear me because of that's going on there. We're having very big recording issues. Basically, every minute or two minutes, the camera will just stop, and this is really annoying me. So, anyway, let's carry on. Um, what else? Really sorry for the lack of uploads last year. We are at, we, we, yeah, we're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> things were out of our control. Yeah, I mean, we've got we've just both changed jobs recently. Yep. Um, Richard's finished with university now, he's gone into full time employment, so he's um, less available. <laughs> I've changed jobs um, so working within the car industry, <laughs> so I work every weekend. Yeah, now. so my days off are your days in. It's yeah. really annoying. So it's hard for us both now to get days off together without booking holidays one way or another. What else? What else? What else? Uh, thank you very much for hitting 1,000. 500 subscribers, yes. that is mental. We said at the beginning of 2015, if we don't get to a thousand, we'd leave it and call it quits. We very soon realized around about May time that we could hit a thousand by the end of June, July time. So we put okay. a promotion out yeah. um, for a giveaway for June, which we sadly didn't hit, but we got it fairly soon after. Um, but we didn't expect to get to 1500. Um, and it, that's insane, so thank you yes. for that.